Welcome to Fury Theory. Primary season. Over. Thank God. It sure has been exciting, though, for your political junkies out there. Never quite sure how it's going to work out with the elections. Christine O'Donnell beats Mike Castle, shocks the political establishment, including me. The question is, can she win? It's a big uphill climb for her because she's got a lot of baggage in her past. But then again, you never know with a state like Delaware who's going to turn out. And she sure can excite the faithful out there. She raised a million dollars after her victory from all kinds of sources, including the NRSC. No one thought she could win, including me and Karl Rove, but maybe we should rethink this. Maybe she's got a shot. What about New York State? Carl Palladino destroying Rick Lazio, the favorite, the establishment choice. I like Rick Lazio. I still can't explain this one. What Carl Palladino said is, I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. And I think the voters actually like that message because they're mad as hell and they don't want to take it anymore. This all sets up for a fascinating general election. I think the Republicans have all the energy on their side because the Tea Party has all the energy on their side and the Tea Party infiltrated many of the Republican primaries and won them. We have some exciting races coming up, Sharon Engel versus Harry Reid. I still think Eng Engel has all the anger on her side and possibly can win that one. Rand Paul in Kentucky, Linda McMahon in Connecticut, and now there's Christine O'Donnell in Delaware, and who knows what's going to happen against Andrew Cuomo and Carl Palladino. People are angry. The primary season is over. They've expressed their anger in the primary season. Will they do it in the general election? That's the big question, and that's the Fury Theory.